Okay. I'm Yarl Moan. I'm the president and CEO of NPR here in Washington. I was invited to speak, uh, and because of my work at NPR, which is all about storytelling, we thought we'd talk a little bit about how we use storytelling to engage new audiences. I know one of the missions and one of the topics of conversation is how to engage new audiences, bring in new people uh, in, in terms of uh, the art world. So we're going to share a couple of stories about that. And I also happen to be an art collector. Well, I, there are, I think, a lot of reasons for it. We can start with the real macro and the most important thing, the importance of art of any sort, whether it's a literature or the visual arts or dance or music in society. Uh, because there is a bit of a movement and has been over time to kind of uh, de-emphasize the importance of the arts, particularly as it comes to funding. So I think in terms of our culture, uh, I mean, it is a, a hugely important topic. Uh, but I also think it's important just to give us energy and spark and imagination and life and innovation uh, in our day-to-day -day life. I'm a businessman. I try to be creative about the way I run and operate the businesses uh, I manage. But I find art and artists, talking to artists, uh, is one of the greatest sources of new ideas for me. Not necessarily ideas that I take and put into business, but in terms of stimulating the way I think about things. And sometimes, and this is an odd one, I love to go see exhibits that I don't like at all. Art that I don't like and I can't stand because it's really great. It provokes me and it probably helps me generate more and better ideas than I'm just looking at art that is appealing to me initially. If I were to give some, I would just say make an observation so it's not advice. I think the best work that's made uh, is when artists follow their instincts and don't follow the market. It sounds like a trite answer. Uh, sometimes their galleries try to push them in a certain direction. Uh, and I'm, I'm most impressed, what impresses me by an artist is when they pursue a particular series um, and then for whatever reason either they get bored with it uh, or they have another idea or they didn't think it worked out, they move on, they do something totally different instead of kind of doing iterations of the same work over and over again. And I'm most impressed by that. It doesn't always work. It doesn't always work for everybody. But um, I've seen artists fail because they followed the direction someone else gave them instead of, you know, all great artists have something inside them. You know, I, I, we can't quantify. We don't know what it is. And uh, the ones that I really like are the ones that are deeply passionate about following whatever that voice is that they have. Someone may think of my life as having been successful, or someone else with a different set of values might see it as, as not. Uh, I, for me, it's been successful, but not for the reasons that I think most people would 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 attribute. Uh, it's been successful for me personally because I've made my decisions about what I wanted to do at any particular point based on what I thought was really interesting, and that would be a great personal experience. When I went to run MTV. I didn't do it for money, uh, I didn't do it for any other reason than I just thought it'd be a riot. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun! And guess what? It was. It was great fun. And it really was terrific for my career. And so some people would look at it as a career move and say, boy, what a great move that was. Uh, I made that move, it was a success for me, and I felt I was successful because I had a great life experience. I'm doing NPR right now, and it's, I think, the, the organization and the mission of the organization is really important. Uh, and I want to try to help do that, but it's certainly not a career move for me. Uh, I'm doing it because I think it's an important thing to do, and I'm really enjoying it, and I'm, I'm getting a lot of personal satisfaction out of it. So that's the value system I'm using for myself. I think I've been successful in that mission. You know, have I done something interesting? Have I had a good time? Have I had adventures? Check the box.